What's up? How y'all today? I am out in the cave. I got the sun behind me, blinding me. Got the Jeep backed up, ready to hook the trailer this afternoon. I got an appointment at four o'clock. Somebody coming here at the house to look at something. After that, I'm going to hit the river. I finally, finally got me a trail win. After all these tries, I've had second, third, fourth, fifths, 38s. 70 seconds, I've all kinds of places down through there. But I've had some top finishes that just didn't pan out for whatever reason. Saturday, we done two tournaments, same bodies of water, was eligible for two days, two separate tournaments, different points, different paychecks, all that stuff. And uh, Russ Snyder's won day one, and I was fishing the same water as Russ was. Uh, I just was fishing wrong that day because I listened to somebody tell me something that I shouldn't have listened to. I should have stayed with Barry. And what's Barry? Wacky rig and a shaky head. And I didn't stay with the wacky rig and a shaky head. I did use a shaky head, but I was using too heavy of a head. I caught fish all day long. I caught well over my limit, but I only caught four that was the size limit. So that messed me up. So with that being said, I want to go over a couple of things with wacky rig and shaky head right quick and river fishing in general. Because I fished a river, I fished on the French Broad, I don't mind telling anybody, we can go back up there next time, face 20 people on that body of water, we'll share the fish, I don't care. But uh, first thing of wacky rig, get you a wacky tool. And the reason you want a wacky tool, you can run this thing down, and get your O-ring on it, and get it like that right there, and let me get another wacky rig out of here. Take your wacky rig, now I don't care which way you put it in there, or take your Cinco. This ain't a Cinco, this is a Bass Pro. And I pop mine, you can see the little smooth section, I put it on the long end of the smooth section. And then, let me unhook this one I already got hooked up here. I use my Gamagatsu Wicked Wacky. That's a two alt. I normally use a three alt. I did downsize the other day because we were small my fishing. And I hook it in to where I have got some meat of the worm along with the O-ring. And a couple of fish hit that, it's gonna tear it. If you're using Gary Yamamoto's, which I love the sink rate on, but every fish tears them, these from Bass Pro hold up, they're a little tougher, and they still sink almost as fast as his. And if I want it to sink really slow, and I throw weightless 90% of the time, I change to a yum dinger, and they, th they fall even slower. And they're tough also. And a dinger works good on a shaky head. Funny, but it does. A uh, stick bait works good in a lot of ways. These people use them Texas rig, all kinds of stuff. That's one of the colors I used the other day. It's called Double Trouble. You can see it's green that side. It's more of a reddish on that side. That's why they call it Double Trouble. It's got that red flake in there. Big time crawl city up there. So that's what happens. All right, something I want to show you. Notice on this one. You notice how straight this line is. Always wet your line, and I recommend you wet your line with water, not spit. I, I've heard people talk to me several times about, my knot breaks, my knot breaks. I don't use spit unless I just absolutely have to. I use water, even if I have to get me a cup of water out of the rain barrel out here next to the shop. Now, I want you to look at this one. And I've done this one on purpose just to show you. Don't look bad right there. See how curled up that is? That's cause when I tighten the knot, I let the knot slip back through it stuff instead of pulling the tag in to run the tag off. I let it run back through itself and heat up on purpose. That just heated that fluorocarbon leader up. It, it, did it hurt it enough? I don't know, but that's just it, I don't know. So that'll be cut and retied here in just a second. But I wanted to show you that anytime you tie and you knot on these things, it's pertinent to make sure that you pull the tag in through Make sure that you don't let your line end up looking like that. If it does, that's heat damage. I don't care if you're using monofilament or fluorocarbon, that's heat damage. Anytime you damage something, it's more likely to break on you. Again, there's that Gamagatsu Wicked Wacky. Okay. I saw about Bass Pros on using their plastics. The Tournament Series stick up, Sticko. Yeah, it's a funny color. We'll talk about that in a second. And there's the other color I used. This is the three I used the other day, and these two I use a lot. And just a regular watermelon seed. I didn't get it out here. 
This one is called candy corn. And it looks kind of funky. Here's one out of the pack. But until the sun got up high, that's what I caught every fish on, was that right there. They could see it. The water was not murky, but it was it was stained. Other than that, I switched over to my watermelon seed with the red in it and double trouble. And that was the three colors I used all day long. And once the sun got up, it was these two colors. I got two rods rigged up and I had one each. If I throwed one in there, it got hit, they missed it. I throwed the other color right back in behind it to follow it up. If it got missed or didn't get took, we went with this baby right here, which is my shaky head. And I put the smallest head I had on there. And that is a yum crispy crawl. I said a money, it's still a yum. But I said a yum money crawl the other day, I was wrong. It was a crispy crawl. It's the one I had on there. It's got them wiggly tail ends on the claws and they really hit that thing a lot there's the one that was on for most part of the day i caught several fish missed several fish and you can see it's all eat up and banged up but it worked out and it held on pretty good this is what i used in practice and i ran out of them because i reordered and i didn't get my order in time my fault not theirs but that's victory tackles crawl now you will tear these up quicker, they're softer. But man, you talk about a bait that just flows like a crawl and swims like a crawl. Victory Tackle. That thing works. That's the one I showed you the other day in another video. It's got the little air hole in it. Another thing, if you're planning on wacky rigging and you basically know what colors you're gonna use, I got a Ziploc bag. And I done used all the candy corns out of it. But I got all the colors I think I might need with O-ring already on them. Because if you're on a river, you don't want to have to turn around and go back and hit a hole again. You want to hit it again. If it takes the worm off, and war mouth are bad about it. Now, there's a lot of times a war mouth will hit this sucker, and they'll take the worm, slap off the O-ring because they grab one in. If that happens to you, throw right back in there. A lot of times bass is in there, too. I've caught bass several times within two feet of where a war mouth took this. So... Rig you up something so you got it going. There's different colors all rigged up, ready to go. Just a few hints about being tournament ready or fun ready if you're not doing tournaments. Be ready. Have your stuff already set up and ready to go. Y'all take care. That's enough for me. We under eight minutes. Barry Davis, StarTech, South Carolina. Bye, y'all.